guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Dye. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here to play um, with the vellum here that I've got. If you saw my recent video, we made some um, envelopes with like vellum pockets on the front. And I did say in that video that we could come back and make some, you know, in bulk. I'm not sure how many we will actually get done. I'm probably being a bit optimistic here because, wow, can you see how much vellum I brought along with me? Yeah, I don't think we're going to <laughs> manage that many. Um, but, you know, we'll see kind of how we get on. So, first of all, I'll try and use, like, the off-cut pieces of vellum. So, any vellum that, you know, I've already used partially. I think that's all, all the vellum that I've partially used so far. Okay, that's fine. And let's just see. Yeah, just kind of seeing what I've got that's going to go best with the papers that I've got. Okay, right, let's pop that to one side. Right. So I'm going to talk you through it because if you didn't actually see, obviously, the original video, I'll just talk you through so that you know kind of what we did. So basically, I'm going to make a little um, fold down envelope and then we're going to have a little pocket on the front, which is vellum. So I'm just going to take my, this is actually food coloured paper and it's actually just copy paper thickness. It's slightly thicker than copy paper. I think it's about 100 GSM. Copy paper is generally 70 to 80, but you know, it's more or less copy, copy paper thickness. And then all I'm going to do, I'm actually going to turn it this way because I'm not so keen on the dark. I'm going to fold it up to have as my little envelope piece like that. Okay. And then all we want to do is kind of make our front a vellum covered front. So I've got this one, which actually, I mean, I was thinking I would try and use my, use my scraps, but yeah, already I'm backtracking on that because um, this actually, would you believe it, is kind of pink toned. And of course, if I put it on here, it goes green, which I'm not saying I dislike it, but you know, I probably prefer it pinky. So I'm going to use this one, which is quite plain. And all I'm going to do is cut it down across here. Okay. And then what I want to do is I'll just check which is the right side and which is the wrong side. I think that was the wrong side. Okay, and then what I want to do is tuck this into this flap. This is just to reinforce the the paper basically to just strengthen the paper so it's got no other kind of function at the moment other than that and then i'm just going to glue that flap down before going to the sewing machine okay so we just glue that down like that okay okay like that and then I'm just going to tidy it up by just cutting this flap off and then we're going to take this to the sewing machine and I will take the camera with me across to the sewing machine and show you what we'll do there um, but that's pretty much all that you're going to be doing is you know kind of cutting it round like that for your you know your cutting section or your cutting part of this I'm going to be really super stingy and keep this vellum because you know why wouldn't you so let's make a couple more of these and then um you know go to the sewing machine with several of them so let's take this lovely blue color so again i'm just going to cut this down here like that okay should we use this again this polka dot looked really pretty didn't it oh which is the right side i think this i think this do we want that or is that just really boring might just be really boring. Oh, perhaps we'll have this one. How gorgeous does that look? Yeah, I love how that looks. Okay, so again, you know, check which side you want to use. I think for me, I'm going to use this side. So fold it up to where you want your envelope flap, like that. And again, you know, just because this is kind of regular copy, copy paper size, I'm going to just take this here and then just cut it down. So I'll just cut there across there like that 
and then oops, cut here like that. Okie dokie. Oh, I've made a horrible job of cutting that again. Something wrong with my cutting lately. Not very straight. Okay, right. Let's just double check. Okay, so that's the right side. Can you see it's straight away kind of much, much darker. And I'm just going to cut that side off where obviously my printer didn't cut, uh, didn't print borderless. So we just trim, trim that down at the side. Okay, so that's going to go there. And then all I'm going to do is again, just like we did on the last one, I'm going to hook it over like that. So the hooking it over, it's basically, you know, it's reinforcing the thickness here, which is going to be obviously the inside of your envelope. So, you know, it's just a handy thing to do basically. So, so that you have a slightly thicker, more robust, um, you know, opening, I guess, for your envelope. So just glue that down by pressing it in like that. Okay. And again, we're just going to leave that and we will take it to the sewing machine and kind of go through what we're going to do once we're at the sewing machine. So, sorry, I just want to check that that's... Because it doesn't look all that straight at the moment. Oh dear. I don't think I've quite made that very straight, but it will be fine. It will be fine. So that's those two. Let's do one more. Um... Oh, well, I might as well use up the other piece of the green, to be honest, because, uh, you know, rather than bring in a whole new colour, it makes sense to just use what we've pulled in, doesn't it? Let's see what this would look like on the green. Oh, that's lovely on the green, I must say. Right, so I'm just going to cut down here. I'm just going to go straight across, you know, where we've cut it already. Okay. Again, I'm just going to trim up where I didn't print borderless. Like that. Okay, and then again, I'm just going to hook this over. Oh, no. Right, let me just neaten up my bottom bit. It's very skew if at the moment. Not looking good at all. Let's hope I've made a better job now. Slightly better. Okay, so then we're going to just take it and turn that over like that. And again, gluing that down across there. Okay, like that. Press that down. I mean, to be honest, you don't even really need to glue this. You could just stitch this. I'm gluing it because it just holds it in place nicely for when I get to the sewing machine. Um, you know, which I think is just, you know, helpful. But yeah, I mean, if you didn't want to, I don't think you'd even have to actually glue it down, to be honest. So that's that. And then let's make one from here. I've got, oops, this kind of, um, what do you call this? Like a fly sheet sheet, fly sheet sheet from, from this book. Oops. Oh, it doesn't want to come out now. So I'm just going to tear that down. Tear this. Oops, tear this piece down. And hopefully we'll get a bit of text kind of showing through here as well. So let's just have a look. Mm, yeah, let's just see if we do it like that. So I might use this pale polka dot. Or is that just really boring? It's quite pretty, isn't it, to be honest? So, yeah, let's then cut this down. So, just going to cut it down like that. Okay. Again, I don't think I've made a very good job of cutting that, to be honest. Just cut along the side. And, you know, there's no reason why you couldn't do these with, um, you know, sheet music or, you know, book pages in the first place, things like that. I just happen to have used plain pages. But, yeah, use, you know, whatever you fancy. Don't be kind of limited by what I've done. And then we're just going to fold this over here. And, again, just glue that down just to hold it in place. Okay, like 
that. Okay, squish that down. Like that. Okay, so I'm going to take you across to the sewing machine and then we can obviously stitch all these round. So I will be back over at the sewing right. machine. I'm here at my sewing table. So let me just pull my sewing machine in, switch it on. Okay, right. Now, the only bit that is slightly tricky is because you're wanting to keep like, you know, one end open as a pocket, but obviously also glue down the rest of it, if you see what I mean. You know, which actually is, you know, going to be tricky to stitch down, if that makes sense. So what I've done, and you may well come up with a much better way of doing this than me, but, you know, this is my method kind of so far until I kind of maybe come up with something a bit better myself. Um, but yeah, no, no saying I'm going to. So by all means, if you've got some fantastic ways of doing this, then please feel free to share them. So I'm just going to stitch across here which is where we've glued that flap down, okay? And then I'm just going to take that out. Now, because I've not not um, cut this particularly neat, I'm going to have to kind of stitch it, you know, a little bit up, but that's fine. I might even cut, oh, I'd have to cut it down significantly to lose that, oh, that's fine. Um, so, what I'm going to do is basically, what you're wanting to do is make this like a conventional envelope, so as you have your flap here, but you also want your flap here from the vellum, if that makes sense. So what you're going to want to do is stitch, firstly, this side of the envelope down, if that makes sense. Now, because I've already then stitched this, you're, you know, you're not going to be able to kind of put it down to here, if that, <laughs> this, this is not really making sense. I'm probably better off showing you. So I'm going to stitch here, lifting my vellum up so the vellum is out the way. Okay, and then I'm going to stitch right up as high as I can to the vellum, but not on the vellum, okay? Like that. And then cut that out. So what you should have now is you've got your envelope stitched on the plain paper down one side. Now what you're going to want to do is now stitch the rest of your envelope together, but not on this side because it's already stitched here. I hope that makes sense. So all I'm going to do is go down here on the on top of the vellum. So this is the facing edge of that envelope. I'm going down that side like that. Now, as I say, I have, um, you know, not cut this very neatly. So I'm going to have to kind of do it wonky because just to be able to stitch that vellum on. But all you're going to do is literally... Stitch that down like that. Okay. And then just take that out. And then what you've got, you've got your envelope pocket. And then you've also got a vellum pocket at the side. And then you've obviously got your, you know, your regular flap like that. I'm going to just trim this down because my vellum was kind of overhanging slightly. So we just trim that down there like that. Okay, let's just move that to one side. Oops, get rid of all those threads. And that's all there is to that. So aside from being a little bit on the fiddly side, you know, it's nothing compl com complicated or anything. It's just literally fiddly. So I'll show you again on this one. So I'm going to again, just go in and stitch my flap down first. So, the flap is obviously the bit that we glued. Okay, we're going to just go across there. Like that. Okay. Take that out. Oh, now my bobbin's run out. Oh, wouldn't you believe it? Let me see. I sometimes have some spares because I do try and put, you know, wind a couple of bobbins at the same time when I do them. But yeah, as, you know, sub's law, of course I haven't got a spare now. Right, I'm just going to have to quickly thread another bobbin and then um, come back. So hold on, 
sorry about that okay we are we are good to go now with our new bobbin so let's put that back in and just again go back down that flap okay Oops. okay right <laughs> i'll turn that around okay and then decide which side you want as your pocket so for this one i'm going to have this end so again, all I'm going to do is just glue my, or not glue, sorry, stitch my flap, you know, what would be like your regular sort of envelope, not flap, the, you know, the regular envelope part, going as close to that vellum as I possibly can, but without gluing or stitching the vellum down. So like that. Okay, and then I want to come out again so that I can now go round the vellum portion. So again, I'm just going to go straight across here, which is obviously the bottom of the envelope. So just stitch across there. Okay. And then straight up this side. Now, if you feel that your pocket for the envelope is not particularly stitched on this side, you know, because you didn't get that high on your vellum, if you see what I mean, when you went underneath the vellum, then you can always just go in just slightly here and just stitch it down just very slightly. You know, just to sort of reinforce that. So, you know, don't be kind of afraid to go back in and just do literally a run of like a couple of stitches there. And that's going to just kind of give it a bit more, um, well, uh, you know, being held together, if that makes sense. So that's that one. And again, that's your little flap for your envelope. And you've got obviously your envelope there and your pocket, vellum pocket there. So aren't they just so, so cute? Now... <laughs> While I was doing my bobbin, I did just find some lace, actually, that I'm just going to stitch here. You know where my vellum was very crooked? So I'm just going to stitch that on just to disguise that. So, you know, if you have anything like that happen, you can just really easily hide it by just kind of, you know, stick something over it or, you know, just disguise it. It's not a big deal. Okay. And then, you know, that's just hidden that completely. So, so I will just do these two. So again, take your envelope flap, you know, the bottom part of your envelope, go across that flap where we've got the reinforced piece on there. Okay, and just trim that down. And then just need to check which side I want to have this actually so I possibly want to have it here so I'm just going to trim off where it was not borderless okay and then I'm just going to again go in here stitch in that envelope down on that side but underneath what's going to be the vellum Okay, and then we're just going to take that out like that, okay? And then we can put that vellum down. And again, I'm going to just do that little notch thing at that top. So again, just, you know, literally like, you know, five or six stitches, really like barely any. You're just reinforcing it basically. So like that, okay? And then you're just going to go round your whole envelope like that stitching your vellum on like that and then we'll just go up this side okay and then just trim that off on there and then you've got just your little envelope flap there I mean to be honest I've actually probably put these um a little bit too high too big and my flaps are now really really teeny so 
yeah, I probably um, didn't really kind of measure these out brilliantly. But, you know, vary them around and kind of, you know, do them to, to suit. So we've got this one now, which was that lovely bird book. So I'm just going to stitch down here across the flap again. Might make my stitches slightly bigger. Okay. Like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to again fold my vellum back, go in here, you know, to that envelope piece, stitch that down, take that out. Okay, and then again, put my vellum down, go in again, you know, just reinforcing it with a couple more stitches. Okay, and then we can just go right the way around our whole envelope. Like that. I've left that sort of curly edge from the book on there. I quite like that, but I mean, obviously you could cut that off. And then I'm just going to trim that vellum up. So let's just move that out of the way. So I'll just go in from the back and just trim that vellum down. Okay, I mean, obviously I've got loads of threads on these, so yeah. Excuse all the billions of threads, but We've got then our little envelope flap. How gorgeous is that envelope? Absolutely love it. They might be one of my new favourite envelopes. <laughs> I mean, I say these things all the time. And to be honest, you know, we make so many things that before I know it, I've actually forgotten all about them. So, um, yeah, I probably won't even remember them in kind of six weeks time or three weeks time or even tomorrow. But let's go back to the desk and decorate one up. Back at the desk and I've brought along um, a bunch of different clusters so that we can decorate, you know, up with clusters. So let's pick one to use. Should we do this one? Because we obviously mucked up that, um, you know, with the non-straight cutting of the vellum and then we've obviously kind of covered it up with the lace. So I feel like this one's kind of already, already on its way because it's already got the lace on there. So... We could obviously round the corners of the flap. You know, and again, obviously this is completely optional. No need for this at all, but just if you wanted to. Now, obviously this is just, you know, plain copy paper. It's not thick or anything like that. So, you know, you're going to be, um, if you've used plain copy paper, that is, you know, you might just want to be a little bit careful because obviously it's going to be quite delicate and prone to tearing. And again, I think what I'll do is just ink up, I'm going to ink up this lace down here, because this was white, white lace. And then I'm just going to ink this one up as well, which we can obviously glue on that flap. Okay. Okie doke, I'm just going to put down some Fabri-Tac to glue that lace on. Like that. Okay. Whoa! Okay. Now, depending on how you're going to use this, because you may want this in a journal as a pocket, stuck on the page, you may want it as a floating piece, you know, completely and utterly up to you. But what I'm saying is, you know, that will depend whether you want to decorate your back um, or whether you're just going to decorate the front. So, I mean, if I were having this in a journal, which actually now I'm thinking, this may not even fit on a journal page, let me check. It would be quite tight, I've got to say. It would be a tight squeeze. Um, but hey, I mean, you could make it this way round. You know, there's no reason why you couldn't do it this way round. So let's have it this way up. And then you've got your top pocket, which is the vellum. And then you've got your side pocket, which is the envelope. Now, this is the only one I didn't stitch. 
here and put those ex extra stitches and already I feel like this is vulnerable so I'm just going to you know glue that in like that but so the, the um the lesson there is those stitches are I think quite a good you know reinforcement so let's see whether I've got any clusters that are going to just really complement this really well and this is where I discover that actually bought all these bits along and still not bought anything along that complements this Honestly, I mean, sometimes you could just bring, you know, everything but the kitchen sink and still you haven't bought the right piece. I'm quite loving that on there, though. Uh, yeah, I really, really am liking that. So I'm just going to tear this down because obviously this is, you know, a kind of straight line, which I feel is dictating how it needs to be glued onto the page, which, you know, I don't want to be dictated to. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous does that look? I love how that looks. Right, so now this is just a stitched cluster. I'm just going to, you know, glue down the layers just with a touch of glue. You know, I mean, they don't really need it, but just, just so they're not flapping. They weren't flapping, obviously, but, you know, just in case they would decide to. Okay. Right, let's just glue that lace down. And then I'm just going to go in again with my hot glue and just glue the entire cluster down. Like that. Okay, there we go. How gorgeous does that look? Absolutely love how that looks. Right, let me move these clusters out the way and I'm just wondering whether we could put anything here as a um, closure. I'm thinking maybe one of those ribbon wax seals. So I've got some ready-made, obviously. Let's just see whether I've got any. Of course, I'm not going to have any the right colour, am I? That would be way too helpful. I mean, to be honest, I don't even mind that. I know it's green. <laughs> I quite like it there on that flower, actually. What do you guys think? Hmm, quite liking it there. Um... We have the brown, the brown and the blue. That's also really nice. Mm. Oh, I've got a brown and a blue with a bird. Oh, maybe that's just one too many birds on there now. Too many birds, too many birds. wonder what this would look like if I ink it slightly. Oops. Just bring in that walnut stain. Okay. Oh, I can't decide now. I really love it there on top of that flower, but equally, I do really like it on the flap as well. Oh, it's so tough to decide. I don't know. I mean, the thing is, if I have it under the flap, I could incorporate something as a closure, um, which would probably be, you know, not a bad idea. Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's have a look. I've got some string here. So, yeah, I'm thinking what we could do is have like some string like that. And then if it were glued down onto a page, what you could do is have the string there and tie it in a bow. It's quite nice, isn't it? Let's do that. Okay, right. So I'm just going to glue that straight on, straight on here. So let's just hold that in place like that, like that, okay. And we will just glue this on straight over that string. So it's holding the string in place and then basically what you've got is we can now glue that string on at the back. So again, I'm just going to be super lazy and use the hot glue. It's just quick and easy. Okay, and then what you've got is you've got then... Oops. Let me just cut the string down because it's obviously too long at the moment. It's, it's cumbersome because it's so big. Or so, so long. Okay, let's just do that. And we will just then go in here with a bow. 
bearing in mind obviously this is moving around because it's not glued onto a page if this were glued onto a page of course it would not be moving so it would therefore be much much easier to you know to tie it but yeah i mean that wasn't too tricky anyway but how gorgeous does that look so the only other thing that i think i would like to do actually is ink the string because that looks quite white and yeah i would prefer it not looking quite so white so yeah i can just go straight down the length of the string and just ink that up and again on the other side just straight down and ink the whole thing okay so then just hold that there and again just whoops and obviously you wouldn't have to use string you know you could have used velcro or magnets or you know any of that stuff but i just think the string looks really rather rather cute there so yeah i mean they're really 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 sweet aren't they and you know i mean as you can see super versatile because this now has become you know a completely vertical pocket rather than a horizontal one which of course was you know all i had in mind really when making them um, so yeah, you can really play around with them and achieve loads of different things, I think. So, and another use for your vellum, which is always good. So I hope that you like them and, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. See you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye.